Hello everyone, welcome to another Duna World video. On this Duna World video, we got an Easter update number two. Yes, I'm gonna go over everything that's in this Easter update part two, but before I do all that, I'm Gorepunk, smash the sub button in the video, go follow me on my Twitter at GoriousPunk. Thumbs up, thumbs down, either way guys, thank you for stopping by and checking out this Duna World video. So now let's get out of this. Okay, so here we go. Sorry guys about the late update, we encountered some difficulties. Two new doodles, Blossor and Sprubble which I'll show you a video of them, me encountering them. Blossor has a 50% chance to, of being in Lakewood Eggs. Sprubble has a 50% chance of being in Academy Eggs. You have a 20 chain of either of those doodles, the chance is raised to 100%. Two new limited time skins, only available VI hunting, can it be purchased from the shop. Raccoon Thief Riff Rat and Lantern Fluppy. New skin system, Vintage. Old skins are now harder to find. Every week, there is a encounter boost that lets you find certain old skins easier. So yeah, that actually all sounds pretty cool. Okay, so first we're gonna get Blossor at the Lakewood, and there it is right there looking pretty freaking awesome. Not bad at all. And it's a plant type, so let's actually catch it so we have it for us to keep. And there we go, stay in the capsule. And there we go, we just caught it. Now let's go to the academy and get Sprubble. Wait, this ain't Sprubble. Why am I encountering a tent for my first encounter? Wow. Okay, here we go. Let's try it again. And boom, we did get Sprubble. And I actually really like how this looks. I think I'm going to misprint hunt this. And it is plant slash earth type. Not bad at all. So now let's catch it. Stay in the capsule. And there it goes, staying in the capsule. So now let's look at Blossor in the overworld. It actually looks really nice. Not bad at all for being a, you know, regular doodle. Pretty cool. And now let's look at Sprubble in the overworld. I really like how this looks. Like the rock golets kind of style rock form with a plant on top. Eden, not bad at all. Okay, all the Halloween 2022 skins that aren't discontinued are now no longer obtainable in this patch. So any Halloween skin from 2022 that you could still hunt for, you can't now. Oh my gosh. You can now disable fishing if it annoys you by using the fishing rod. Using it again will ask you to enable it. So that's actually a pretty cool function. Okay, vintage skins will be easier to see in the roulette, changing the text color. So kind of see like the Mountain Mall and the Wyvern all right next to it, yeah. You can view which skin has a weekly boost. Next week's boost in the Doodlepedia. So that's actually pretty cool. See how it says weekly boost at the top of the first cosmic skin? Pretty cool. And then like the next week one, which so you can get prepared if you want to get a chain going before I have time. Okay, we got some new uniques. We got unique Jess World. Then there's the misprint version of Blossor and unique Blossor. We got unique Horbees. Actually pretty cool looking. Okay, now we're going to check out the new skins that were added for this week and the gem shop for this week for 420 2024. To let you know, I'm recording this all through my computer so my voice probably sounds a little different. The new Hyena is getting like a party clown skin. It's actually really cool, pretty awesome looking, not bad at all. Looks like Squid Anna's evolution line is getting a new skin. It's actually not bad looking. It has like the Splatoon colors, pretty cool. Oh, it looks like Scorch Surge's evolution line is getting a new skin. Oh, and it's adorable, pretty cool. So like Polar Geist in uh, its evolution line is getting a new skin, kind of cowboy-like, pretty cool looking. Looks like Wolf Free's evolution line is getting a new skin also, and this is, actually looks really nice, not bad. Oh, Gorpo's evolution line is getting a new skin also, and it's cowboy also, pretty cool looking. And it looks like uh, freaking Nianto's evolution line is getting a new skin also, not bad looking either. Oh my gosh, we got a new Riff Rat Hensham skin. This is actually really awesome looking, like black metal punk looking, pretty cool. Looks like Fluffy's got a new skin, and it's actually pretty cool looking. So I'm thinking that uh, this Fluffy is that limited skin. But yes, pretty cool. Great Memento's whole evolution line as a keen, really cool. Oh, no, there's that Riff Rat skin and Hensham skin that's limited. There it is, I forgot. He had two skins this update, but pretty cool looking. Ooh, Bungo's got a whole new evolution line, and it looks like it's tons of Bungo planets or atoms all sorting together. It's actually really cool looking. Looks like Plipo's evolution line is getting a new skin also, and this is adorable. I love it. Looks like Melzeri's got a new skin. Wow, this is actually really cool looking. Not bad. The Fluffy evolution line is getting a new skin, and it's like a DJ uh, just jamming out. It's actually really cool looking. Looks like Fluffy has another skin for its evolution line. Not bad at all. 
the Ferrocotal's evolution line is getting a new skin. This is actually a really nice looking lavender kind of style looking. Pretty cool. Looks like Score Surge evolution line is getting another skin. This is actually really cool looking, all dark like. Not bad. It looks like Ribbot L's evolution line is getting a new skin. Also, actually really cool looking with the rainbow colors. Not bad at all. Then we got the Mask Committee's evolution line getting a new skin. This is actually really cool looking. Not bad either. So that's all the skins right there. Let, yes, let me know in the comments which one you like the most. Okay, here's the gem shop for this week. We got Golden Egg Boost for $2.99 Robux, Silver Egg Boost for $99 Robux, and Battle Pass 2 Premium for $750 Robux. You can get Blossor for 103 gems. You can get Rubble for 103 gems. We got Deep Sea Mesri for 6,000 gems. We got Atomic Bungle for 6,000 gems. We got Plushy Score Surge for 3,000 gems. A Chunky Grotto for 3,000 gems. We got Royal Grim Mantle for 3,000 gems. We got Orchestra Masquerade for 3,000 gems. We got Masquerade Roof Freeze for 3,000 gems. We got Alicorn Rip Batel for 3,000 gems. We got Rockstar Tsumo for 6,000 gems. I don't know why I was thinking that was Riff Rat the whole time. Wow. We got Calico Fallen for 3,000 gems. We got Mysterious Score Surge for 3,000 gems. We got Clown Haiyan for 3,000 gems. We got Cowboy Polar Guys for 3,000 gems. We got Splat Bond to Nuts for 3,000 gems. We got DJ Flan for 3,000 gems. We got Lavender Ferracata for 3,000 gems. Let me know if you're going to be buying one of these skins in the gem shop for this week. Yes, yeah, so that's pretty much it for everything in this Easter Part 2 update. Either way, I'm Gorepunk. Smash the sub button on the video. Go follow me on my Twitter at GoriousPunk. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Either way, guys, thanks for stopping by and checking out this Tutor World video. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, night, evening, wherever you're at on this planet Earth. Later.